but this is why you know old cowboy movies and you see the guy walk in yeah. and you know he's got his high-heeled boots on and his spurs and stuff but he's he's walking on the outsides of his feet and you you can see the tunnel between his knees right yeah because the horse is still there yeah right or my harley davidson riders that that come in and yeah, you can they're the same way you can right? send a pig uh, a pig uh, through their leg <laughs> Good morning, happy Wednesday. I have no coffee in hand and it is perfect. All right, today is Wednesday. That means that tomorrow is Thursday. That means tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Coffee and Coaches Conference call as usual. If you are not participating in these calls, what is taking you so long to get here? Because these are great calls, great people, great groups. Obviously, you're seeing uh, bits and pieces of these calls. These calls go about two hours. So you get about somewhere in the general vicinity, 30 to 40 minutes um, as we share these, these Q&As during the day. So, so please join us for these calls. They are excellent. Um, like I said, great people. Bring some coffee. Bring a question. We'll have a great time. Okay. Today's Q&A comes from Frederick. And Frederick has a client with a spondylolisthesis. And so we talked strategy here. But let's talk about what spondylolisthesis is. So first of all, let's give you a little bit of a graphical representation there. So on the screen right now, hopefully, if my technology is effective, you are now looking at what is represented as a spondylolisthesis. So this is the slippage of the vertebra um, forward on top of another and, and not a great situation. Um, many people are asymptomatic under these circumstances and they never know that this existed and in some cases it's going to cause or, or promote, I should say, a, a great deal of, of potential pain. Now, from a strategy standpoint, if we think about what this thing really is, what we have is this forward movement of the vertebra on top of another vertebra. That is actually an internal rotation strategy. Um, so typically what you're going to have is you're going to have some form of of a, a more extreme ER orientation. This is a compensatory strategy to produce the internal rotation. And therefore the spine is the location of the compensation. In this situation, what we're trying to do then is we're gonna to try to drive a, a, an early representation of propulsion. So this is gonna be the sacral base moving backwards on the ilium. Because if we were to drive, say, a late strategy where we're moving the ilium forward on the sacrum, remember that late is gonna be a very strong IR representation moving towards ER, where early is, a, is an ER where we have an early superimposition of, of internal rotation. If we can move the sacrum back, we have a chance to reduce the IR strategy in the spine. And so that's gonna be the strategy that we talk about here uh, with Frederick and we, and, we, and we talk through this. He's got another complicating situation um, that, that you'll see as we go through this that, that could produce some interference. So you always wanna take that into consideration as well. The activities that people select tend to not be the, the best ones. Uh, the things that they like to do can actually become a potential influence as to why they are symptomatic. So Frederick, thank you so much for this question. It's gonna help a lot of people because this is a, a fairly uh, common condition in the clinic. Um, and I think it's a very small percentage of the total population, but we see a, a fair amount of this in the clinic, especially with people that um, do what, what would be considered extension-based activities like gymnastics would be one that stands out in my mind. So again, thank you, Frederick. If you would like to participate in a 15-minute consultation, please go to askbillhartman at gmail.com, askbillhartman at gmail.com. Put 15-minute consultation in the subject line so we don't delete it. We'll arrange that at our mutual convenience. I will see you tomorrow morning, Thursday, 6 a.m., Coffee and Coaches Conference call. Have an outstanding day. Um, I have a question about uh, the spine, especially the uh, spondylolysis. Uh -huh. uh, um, because I have a client now, I've seen her yesterday for a um, a uh, short amount of time for 20 minutes. So I did some initial testing uh, and it's actually the second um, patient uh, that I have in this age group. Okay. So the first one I remember it was like seven or eight years ago and um, she ended up having surgery, okay. uh, like uh, fusion surgery in her yes. spine because the symptoms were always um, getting worse. And now this uh, young lady, she's 21 years old. Um, she also um, uh, got the recommendation to get surgery already. Okay. And um, so I was um, thinking a lot about how uh, the, um, well, it's not an easy question, I think, but first of all, how the, um, uh, the um, spondylolisthesis uh, fits into the model, because I was having quite some um, 
uh, thoughts about that. And uh, second of all, um, how to um, find a good way to treat it because she has uh, have symptoms for quite a long time and she's already like, I think 50% in the thought process of going to the surgery. Okay. Because um, she's having this uh, for a couple of years already and it's yeah. progressing, it's getting worse. And she was too, uh, I don't know, 10 therapists or so and nobody could actually help her. Right. Okay. So, so let's identify what representation of the spine you're actually looking at. Hmm. Right. So if the body of the vertebra, even if it was intact, Okay, so you, you've got the you've got the pars defect that's allowing the body of the vertebra to slide forward, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, in that representation, what what strategy are they using? Is it an ER strategy or an IR strategy that creates the spondylolisthesis? IR. Okay, so yeah. right away you kind of know what she's doing. Okay, mm -hmm. now is that is that a normal representation of internal rotation superimposed on ER. What's happening in her spine? Yes, sir. No. Okay. So all that is, is a compensatory strategy to drive mm -hmm. internal rotation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So step number one is we got to go find ER space. Okay. Now, if I was to use a late propulsive representation where I'm pushing the base of the sacrum forward, mm -hmm. would I enhance the IR representation of that spine or would I reduce it? Push it forward, the base? Yes, sir. Uh, enhance it? Yeah, so I gotta be really, really careful that I avoid a late yeah. representation of ER. Yeah. So your first yeah. goal then is you got to move her toward an early representation of external rotation. So this okay. is not just a spine problem. This yeah. is a system problem. Yeah, because she had uh, very limited measures in, in both hips. And I can only she, imagine. Like, Yeah, if, she's, if, she's biased towards wide and she can maybe touch her knees with her, um, with her fingers. When she's doing a toe touch, just like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, so you got some work here, young man. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but the thing that, I, the thing that I want you to understand is, is that it is that you get her delay strategy. So this is an early representation um, solution everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to teach her, if you're going to put her on her side, she's a wide ISA, put her on her side start to teach her the early representations on her side. Okay. Okay. You got to drive the early in the thorax. You got to drive the early in the, the cervical spine and the cranium. You got to drive the early in the foot. You cannot just look at this as a low back issue. Yeah. Because chances are that's going to be the last place that you're going to get it because she's using a, she's literally created a bony position right? That has less control over it because there's, there's no longer an intact constraint. Mm. So you got to get her from the top down. You got to get her from the bottom up. And then the last thing that's going to move back is going to be the spine. Okay. 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 Yeah. So everything, everything yeah. has to be going towards early. If you do something that interferes with that, if you drive a middle propulsive strategy too soon, mm -hmm. where's she going to compensate? She's going to go right to the spine. Right. So mm -hmm. you go, so you go early, 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 early. And then the last thing is right where she's having the greatest degree of difficulty. Okay. Okay. Speaking of interference, yes, uh, I know I've had one case, uh, um, horse riding person. She's mm -hmm. as well. So she's 21 years old. She's been horse riding for like a decade now. Yep. Um, the first thing I thought when I heard this, that's like it huge interference or could be a huge interference of progress for um, so, uh, solving this problem. Yes. Correct? So, so this person with the spondy has, is a horseback rider. Yeah. Oh, you got to take it away. Sorry. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, I rarely take stuff away from people until you have to, but I can tell you with great, it, what kind does she, what does she do? Well, her parents have a, like a 
ranch type. I don't know how you would call I mean, it. Does she in, compete? In... No. But okay. Daily, okay. daily, she's sitting on a horse. Okay. Like because it's her passion. You. <sighs> yeah. I hate, I hate hearing that. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. When you sit on a sad, if, if it's a Western saddle or if it's like one of the smaller, like, like a, uh, uh, it, like the equestrian style saddles where they're, they're up on it. Like they stand up in the stirrups and stuff like that. They have to stand in a late representation or they're sitting in an extreme late representation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially with bigger horses. Mm -hmm. So, you th so the only way yeah, that she's you a small part, small person as well. So she's. Not very big yeah okay yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> not an easy one yeah it's not yeah. it's not it's not going to be easy uh you're going to have to take it away because she's actually sitting in the position so so here you go think about this um uh the spondylolis thesis enhanced her ability to sit in a saddle it allowed her so yeah. so so sitting on a horse is an extreme er orientation okay it, um, mm -hmm. um and and it, i i i've been on a, a couple three horses i'm not good at it because i do not have the position capability to actually sit on a horse comfortably mm -hmm. okay um but this is why you know old cowboy movies and you see the guy walk in yeah. And, you know, he's got his high heeled boots on and his spurs and stuff, but he's, he's walking on the outsides of his feet and you, you can see the tunnel between his knees. Right. Yeah. Because the horse is still there. Yeah. Right. Or my Harley Davidson riders that, that come in and yeah, they're, the can, same, they're the same way. You can right? send a pig, a pig uh, through their legs. Right? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, yeah. so, so that representation right there is an extreme ER orientation. So when you, so when we talk about, so Ian's question about like lateral knee pain and things like that, um, that's what we're talking about. That's an extreme mm. ER orientation. Um, so I work with some competitive equestrians and some dressage people, and those are really big, like the dressage is really big horses. Mm. Um, and so they are really extreme. Um, and you'll see a lot of like, um, they get a lot of pubic pain mm. um, because of the amount of, of, of pressure through the front of the pelvis. Um, you're going to see a posterior lower compressive strategy every time yeah. they're going to have a, it's pure ER orientation, which means that they need IR orientation somewhere else, which is going to be the orientation yeah. of the pelvis. It's going to take the spine yeah. forward. You got to go, you got to bring her from, from out here to in here. And you can't do that with a horse between your knees. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, so yeah. you're going to have to take it away from her temporarily. Yeah. Because, because here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. She'll have the surgery. Okay. They're going to fuse it. And then she's going to try to ride horses again. Yeah. And now you're going to have an altered constraint where she doesn't have the adaptability to even get on the horse. She's creating a new one. Yep. immediately probably so so the conversation that you have is we need to take the horse away from you for a while mm. because it's the only chance that we'll have to do this without surgery and then maybe you can get back on the horse mm. if they fuse your spine the maybe window is smaller because she won't have the adaptability okay, okay. but like I said, you're going to have to drive early, 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 early. You're going to have to make mm -hmm. a knee orientation. You're going to have to make a knee orientation change. You're going to have mm -hmm. to make a foot orientation change. You got to make, again, you got to go boom, boom, boom. You got to get them all. You got to get them all. all right. because, because again, this is not a low back issue. Uh, it's a, not a low back problem. It's a low back result, yeah. right? It's like I took all of my early strategies away to get on the horse. Okay. You got to get them all back. Okay. All right. Good Thank luck. you. Good luck. Yeah. It's going to be a tough conversation, it, it, I think, because it, it, she's going to well, be heartbroken, it, but, you know, but, but nobody's having reality. that conversation with her. Yeah. You know, and, and you want to be straight up. You want to let her know what she's up against. It's like, it's like, if you really like to ride horses, you know, it's like mm. the, 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 the surgery is a constraint change. 
to take away, mm. to try to take away the pain. It's not a solution to get her back on the horse. You want to give her a solution that's going to allow her to get back on the horse too, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.